April Plank's abstract on tobacco cessation among patients undergoing lung cancer screening is a retrospective study aimed to identify tobacco cessation rates and cutback rates among patients who are currently smoking and going through lung cancer screening. The results suggest that extensive cessation counseling at the time of getting scan results can lead to higher cessation rates and that gradual quit plans should be introduced to those who are not ready to quit. Data was collected between 2013 and 2018 among 254 patients undergoing lung cancer screening. The quit rate within the first two years of screening was 29.5%, and the cutback rate was 9.4%. But 90% of patients expressed that they would like to decrease their frequency of smoking at visit number one. When additional analysis was conducted through 2020, 90% of patients in the quit group remain tobacco free and 50% in the cutback group had progressed to quit. This is important information, but smoking related stigma is an important issue as well. Taking a person's smoking history is important for cancer treatment, but we must recognize that the language we use matters when discussing lung cancer and smoking and tobacco cessation. The direct effects of words and how they are communicated must be considered in conversation with patients. I think that the idea of extensive or consistent cessation counseling lends to that. It lends to empathic communication and could lead to higher cessation rates because it is showing an interest in the person. It is showing that you care.